Do you separate oil from Freon during recovery? Now, but by Freon, let's just say refrigerant, okay? Do the Freon is specific to uh, like a brand name almost. Anyway, separate them. So we can't directly separate them during the recovery phase. Uh, so if, if we have a machine that had a heavy oil migration, or was oil having oil stack in the evaporator, which is a, a, it's a fairly common thing we have to deal with. So in the event that that happened and the refrigerant you took out was very oil latent, you're gonna go through the full recovery. When you're done with the recovery process, you're, you're all of that oil is gonna have mixed with the uh, refrigerant just in the process on its own, right? And that oil is going to settle at the uh, top of the refrigerant level. So the, the oil is gonna sit up on top of the refrigerant. Once you get ready to go back to charging that refrigerant, you either have to pull vapor off, vaporize that, that entire charge back into the machine. So you, you won't charge liquid back, you would charge vapor back. If we are worried about oil contamination in each tank, what we've done is we'll recover down until we know we've got just a, f a few inches or maybe a foot left in the bottom of the cylinder and then pull that back off of vapor that way whatever oil may have may have stacked on top we can try to make sure that we get that vaporized or the refrigerant vaporized back out of it because the oil is going to stay in its oil liquid state but we can flash the vapor out or the, the refrigerant out into a vapor and still get the refrigerant back out of that oil and that, that is one way to separate those